Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Zoo, of which we are halfway through our penguin enclosure. It's looking really cool, especially with this beautiful shade of packets. It looks like it's it looks like there's more going on there than there actually is. I don't know why. It looks so busy when actually it's it, it's not. I think it was just it's clever composition. And uh, it's just looking really, really good. It doesn't look like... It, it, it looks like I need to turn my volume down. It doesn't look like that the penguins swim all that well, which is quite unusual for a penguin. I like how I can't get under there, but the penguins can. That's so brilliant. And uh, so far... Oh, they are! I, I wondered if... Where are they? There they are. I wondered if fish were going to spawn in here. We had fish spawn in Harambe's enclosure. Um, but I didn't see any fish in here for the longest time. But yeah, over there. See them? That's perfect for the penguins. Self-feeding enclosures. Zoos would be able to save a fortune if they didn't have to go around and feed all their animals. If if the animals that the animals ate just spawned in the enclosures just appeared. <laughs> Wouldn't that be brilliant? Anyway, uh, today I want to do the penguin tunnel that goes through underneath here that allows us to see, well, that would allow us to see the penguins uh, through the water here. We might be able to see the fish. Ah, that light was bright. Can I see any fish here? Oh yeah, down there. There's some fishy down there, down the bottom, look. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. So we can actually see some stuff down here now oh and the first that other thing that i noticed was over on this side i saw a little bit of sand not that it's really going to be that important to you guys but i want to fix that and get that done so what colors do we want i'm thinking of a uh, of a white tunnel but then with some blue as an accent let's turn these shaders off so it's not quite as impossibly dark down there and uh, we want some white. I think this clay is a beautiful white. This is the one that we used uh, for the wall that goes around. I think it's going to be nice to have the same thing as like a theme that goes through the tunnel. I just threw the grass. That's okay. And um, <laughs> a, a blue. I actually really like the cyan blue. It's a little bit of a lighter one. And what about this lapis lazuli block, which is basically a brick in this texture for the floor. So you walk on the bricks as you go through. We'll have the blue at, as one line, maybe at the top, or one line down the set. Mm, maybe we want, like, um, sea lanterns? Oh, no, we don't have sea lanterns. No, we've only got those. Um, glowstone doesn't look too bad in this, does it? Glowstone. Yeah, that should work. That should work. Or we have the lamps hanging down. I'm going to do either that or glowstone. We'll get them both. So, first things first. What height do we want to walk on? Do we want to walk down here? Or do we want to walk on this level so the whole window is like uh, our, uh, our floor to ceiling? I think I like it all. Let's grab ourselves a wand. Stop looking at the ceiling. And... Uh, Hang on, let's, we want to really make sure that we have it symmetrical all the way across. So we have the same distance of floor after the window and on either side. So we want 22, set to 22. Yeah, that's going to work really, really well. Um, and it can get underneath those windows as well. That's going to be a pain. I think we all know that's going to be a pain. So... Uh, how far do we want to go? Oh, about, I don't know, 15 blocks on that side. And about 15 blocks on that side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's say 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then let's do 10 on the other side. Ooh, I'm stuck in the block. Let's do 10 on the other side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can hear them. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> it might be my vol. I, I don't know. What, what's the volume for these? 6%. I'm sure they won't be too loud for you guys. I just don't want it to drive you nuts. 
because uh, it's driving me just a little nuts. I think we can use slabs um, as the escape route up here. Uh, as far as what slab we use, I, I think we probably want to go with the bricks because it's in as though that is the same as uh, the floor or the path texture that we're using in the rest of the place. In addition to that, uh, it's still a nice brick texture to go with the lapis floor that we've got going on in here as well. So if we had this just going up every single half slab, I'm hoping that it's going to come out at like a really nice height. Trim all that away. It looks like we're going to be about right, which is fortunate really. Oops. Like that. That one. And then this is the last one, like that because the top one will be full brick blocks. It's a really nice decline. Then the two colors actually go better together than I thought they would. And then I'm going to have some sort of um, lip around this edge because these walls are all going to be the nice white clay block. So the top, I don't want being grass uh, with dirt underneath it. We're going to want to have some sort of um, top block, some sort of finishing block above that. Uh, maybe, maybe even if we went clay all the way up and then had the slabs on top. Now, I think it would be better to have either a fence. Yeah, a fence maybe over glass. I've got the glass on the bridge, so maybe we'll use a fence there. Uh, height, as far as height goes on the inside. Let's get rid of some of these. So as height goes on the inside, I don't think... Can I? I can trim this away. I don't think nothing's going to fall on me. But I do like these edge ones being in. Uh, if we had the edge ones start like that, we have some stairs. I think we'll go with the whites. And so it's pretty close to what the clay looks like. So we'll have those like that. And then I think, what one did I want the, what one do we want the blue one on? I think I want the blue one on this one, on this side, and straight down the middle. But I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe this should all be... Uh, the clay and then the blue one starts underneath so what number is this this is 35 9 we have that going all the way across please don't fall I don't want no sand to fall through or anything insane like that uh, 35 9 that one two oh this one isn't all cleaned up yet we need to clean all this up we need to have these bricks on here one. Now, I think I've done all the um, the numbers right. I think I've done 10 on either side properly. Uh, we're not going to really be able to tell if we're only one block out. But for my own OCD, for my own sanity, I would prefer if everything was, was nicely symmetrical uh, down here. I'm already liking it. I'm really, really liking it. The only thing that's letting the tunnel down at the moment is the lighting. It wouldn't even actually look that bad uh, leaving it as stone. Um, but uh, we need we need actual decent sort of height on our lighting. So that goes like that. This was flush up to the uh, flush up to the wall that went across. These were here and here, and then these were around the side. I think that's going to make everything correct. Set to 35.9. I don't think that's going to affect the floor of this. No, because we've got a layer of sand on top of the sandstone, don't we? So that doesn't affect that. Then I wanted one here. Uh, this is the height, uh, like the top height of the window level. So from there to there, same color. From there. Oh, undo. We don't want it to... Uh, Go over the glass, do we? Oop. I don't know what I just undone, but I'm going to redo it. Oh, it was the top. Stop messing up. We're going to break something really bad, and I'm not going to be able to fix it. <laughs> See that one? Okay, I like the blue. Now we need the white to balance everything else out because at the moment we're now very blue heavy with the water, uh, with the floor, with the walls and with the ceiling. We need this white to hopefully sort of balance everything back out again. So we're going to go from there to there and we're going to set clay. 
which I spelt wrong, but it still allowed it. And we're going to do that one. Two. Oops. That one. Let's just knock the holes out first. Two. That one. And that one. Two. This one. I also want um, some uh, chairs down here. Or seating, some benches. Uh, things like that. I think that would be really nice. There. Two. No, I want a top block. I don't know what the top block is going to be yet, but I want a top one. That one. Two, that one. And this one. Two, that one. Do I want stairs going across the top, or do I want full blocks? Undecided yet. Ooh, undecided yet. We'll have this one. This one. Two, this one. And then that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, so far, so good. Looks an awful lot better already. We know that we can do these top two stripes as well. And then I think, I think it would be nice to have these, the edge ones, the only ones that are left that aren't coloured. I think it would be better if they're stairs. It'll give us a really nice archway that goes all the way through then. What does that look like on the end? I think it looks pretty cool on the end as well. Now, I'm not going to take them all away first, because there might be, might be some sort of water underneath it. Oh, I should probably make these clay as well, right? The ones on top of the windows. So, like, when, when we look at the windows now, there's clay on the top and on the bottom. I really, I really hope those penguins aren't too loud for you. They're, they're okay for me and my ears. I can turn them down, though. You guys can't. If you turn them down, you'll turn my voice down as well. I think we're doing all right. So, put these along here. Then the tunnels, the, the, the physical part of the tunnel's complete. Then we just need to work out lighting and some benches. Maybe some plants down here, too. Uh, the only thing that I can think that a real zoo would have that we haven't said so far uh, would be some facts about the penguins they usually have little facts on signs uh, some of them have push buttons that you can like push and they'll talk to you and talk to you about the penguins and stuff oh yeah and the other thing people said was uh, crabs you could put some crabs in with the penguins it's gonna be up to you I'm gonna ask you all now instead of just a, a couple of people that I've mentioned I'm gonna ask you all now do we put some crabs in with these penguins or do we do our own crab enclosure I know it sounds weird a crab enclosure um, but do we do that or, or do we uh, just stick them in here and then forget about the crabs later on I don't know I don't know so what do these ones look like do we like those ones hanging down like I haven't really I'm not really spacing them out properly do we do it like that or I actually really like that look and then I think we probably want some um, glowstone blocks going down the side of the windows trying to give as much uh, light to those windows as possible now we do need to work out exactly like the distance between each one and I don't know if this is an odd number or an even number so I'm gonna do every three blocks like that and I'm gonna do every three blocks from this side one two three one and then we get two there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's the middle point. We don't have an exact middle point. We've got two middle points. I think that's as close as we're going to get. And then I think along the windows here, along the bottoms, we're just going to have set glowstone. And from here to there, set glowstone. Gives us a load of light to the window. Brightens that whole place up. And then down the middle, what if we had um, just some slabs going down the middle as some sort of benches that you can sit on. If we go with wood, I think it'll make it a little bit more obvious. And we'll do one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two in the middle. Or three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. 
If we do three, three, lots of four benches like that in the middle, I think that just neatens that up really, really nicely, don't you? Yeah, I think that I think that neatens it up really, really nicely. Uh, anything down these sides here? Would we need anything down here on these walls? I could have some benches there and there, six blocks long on each one, two two blocks before the first uh, brick slab. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so. There's a tunnel. What does it look like with the shaders on? Not that it really matters, because you don't use shaders in underground parts like that, like this. But it looks really neat. It does look really, really neat. Look at the reflection of the glowstone. You can see better through the glass and through the water with the uh, shader pack on. Compared to when it's off, you can't really see too much. You can see up, but you can't really see through the water. But as we know, the penguins don't swim, so there's not really that much to see. So, let's have the one back. None of the penguins have escaped yet either. I haven't seen any wandering about, so that's been a good, uh, a good experiment. What do we want as this top block? As just a finished block uh, on the top. Logs? Logs wouldn't be bad. It'll, it'll still blend in with everything. I can't do this with world edit though because I'm going to want the logs to be sideways. Like that. Yeah. And then that'll be the perfect, perfect block to then place uh, some fences above on. Caps off really, really well. Uh, fence. Do I want a log on the end? Like that? Yeah. And we'll have... Oh, we've got that one to go there. That one, that one. Beautiful. Wow, that really ties out all in, doesn't it? Hey, it looks like that's all part of it, which is what we wanted. We wanted to all look like uh, the underground part was still attached to the penguin one, which isn't that easy to do. It, sometimes it's going to look like a completely different thing. It's just going to look like a, an access tunnel. But I think now that we've used all of the colours that the penguin enclosure has, uh, I think it's going to make it just a little bit more obvious that you know, this is also a part of the penguin enclosure. You can come and check this this part out as an extra. Let me put a slab on top of that, I forgot. That one, that one, slab. There we go. Now, where do we join this up to? Oh yeah, we had this uh, river here. We need to sort of get a bridge going to go there. Let's uh, get ourselves a nice sword. We want a brush of... Um, cylinder, yeah, cylinder, uh, two blocks, no, brick, two blocks, and then I can join this up nicely, oops, should be able to join that up nicely there, Ugh! come on, just get that little bit, there we go, and then wrap this around here, do I want to be able to walk close to it? Yeah, probably. How far can I go back? Okay, that's good. If I had it coming around here instead. Fill all that in. Oh, I see it clicked wrong. There we go. We have it run down the edge. Oh, if I can get underneath those stairs as well. No. Undo. No. Oh, I double clicked. No. I want to get under there. That would be so good if I could get under there nice and easily. I'll do that off camera. And then this one joins back up and around. That might have got them all. Oh, I'm missing like two. <laughs> Isn't that just typical? Undo. Did I get any bricks on that side? No. It was just that first mess up. So we have this running around this side. Do I want to join up the other side or do I want the path to just continue on on the other side of the penguin enclosure? Do we want to wrap it around this part? It's a tough one. Hmm. Ugh. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get this going all the way around. I think I like the idea of going all the way around and then I'm not going to uh, cut out me getting all these ones wrong and I shall be back. Okay, I'm back. Now, I know the path doesn't look 
too neat. It's got some sort of wiggly parts, uh, some parts that aren't like exactly correct. I like that because what you got to remember is that it's not all going to be flat grass around the sides of the path. We're going to have um, rails and fences and hedges and plants and trees. You're not going to be able to notice that there's going to be some wiggles. Obviously, some parts like that just need to be cleaned up more than anything. Um, but there are going to be, you know, some wiggly parts. And I really like that. It, it It's difficult in Minecraft to sometimes be able to make it do that and make it look good. And uh, I think we've got the perfect opportunity here with all of these plants and trees going on. By the way, all these trees grew really nicely uh, to be able to get away with this sort of curve. I think I want the path around the line enclosure to come all the way around. We're not going to go over that waterfall bit, but I want it to come all of the way around there. And I've got the path continuing on that way. I don't know what's going to be over there, but I've got the path continuing off, uh, you know, to sort of allow us. I don't think I want them continuing off the downhill parts, though. I think I want people to walk around to the downhill part. And then what we'll do is we'll have like a, a beautiful sort of tree line that goes around that. Um, I don't know what, what type of tree, maybe just oak trees. But look, I, I just really like the shape. We've sort of got this um, almost like a, a key lock shape, isn't it? You know, when you put your key in the door, it's sort of that shape, you know, at the top. And then you've got the wiggle and then the bottom. Uh, it's a really nice sort of uh, symmetrical shape that I think with some trees going around, it would look absolutely beautiful. In fact, I'm going to do that now. We've got enough time sapling and I might as well just start on this side as soon as I'm close to it. I'm not going to bone meal them but all I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of run the saplings around every three or four blocks I'm going to place one I'm not going to go down this path either just sort of around the walking bit one or two blocks away from the path itself don't do it like next to it keep it one block away uh, sometimes two blocks that way you get a little bit of um, depth. Uh, all the trees aren't on the same height. Then they were, like you get some that are just a little bit uh, further away. No, not even the best gardeners can keep all the trees perfectly in line. Because I'm going up there. And then finally, this one down here. Now imagine when that grows. It's going to really um, isolate the penguin enclosure from everything else. Which I think is a good thing. It's a it's a very unique animal. So when they all grow in that shape, it's going to look really, really stunning. Really, really nice. That is, unfortunately, all that I've got time for this episode. Next episode, I think we're going to be starting on the gift shop. I think down on this road here, I think I'm going to put it on maybe on there. Maybe I'll have two entrances. That'll probably be a good idea. Yeah, that's what we're going to do next episode. Look forward to it. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. And we'll just see you in the next episode.